Go over anterior hip nerves, we understand anterior hip pain a little bit better. People a lot of times forget is this rectus abdominis neurovascular bundle coming into the inguinal canal. Here it's gonna connect and that uh, uh, genital femoral nerve is gonna come in, into the inguinal canal at this point. It's gonna cross over and it's gonna keep crossing and become on the other side, the, uh, you know, uh, part of the adductor longus tendon. It's gonna be kind of line up straight with the adductor longus tendon here. This, uh, so that's, this is the inguinal canal here. So what I'm marking uh, coming off of here, now this is the ilioinguinal nerves, you know, are gonna come into that inguinal canal and follow it all the way down to the, right below the pubic tubercle. And it's gonna go over the, over the pubic tubercle. Um, what it actually inserts in the pubic tubercle is not the adductor longus, but the pectineus here. Um, and the other nerve we're gonna work, think about here is this, it's coming in also f uh, from this, um, over this transverse abdominus plane here, and it's gonna come down, and this is the coming around the uh, ASIS. That's the lateral femicutaneous nerve, and it's kind of split into three branches here. Here I have one line that represents two nerves. So more superficial is the femoral nerve, and deeper is the uh, octator nerve. They're both gonna have branches coming across like this. Now the one branch that's coming across is gonna be that circumflex, uh, that circumflex uh, femoral nerve. Coming, coming, that's the lower circumflex, there's an upper circumflex too, but that lower circumflex is coming across and that can be a cause of uh, anterior hip pain. This X here is actually the hip joint, that's where the labrum and the, uh, and the uh, femoral, uh, uh, femoral, femoral uh, head articulate right here. And uh, coming straight from this, uh, where, where this octator canal comes out, coming right across through this, uh, through the ligament uh, capsule of, of the joint is gonna be this uh, branch of the octator nerve as well. So you have coming over, coming over the hip more superficially, the femoral nerve, deeper to the capsule, the octator nerve. And if the capsule is inflamed, it's pretty easy to see how you could get uh, octator nerve, which is much deeper uh, coming right over the octator uh, uh, externus uh, muscle belly and uh, more superficial, the femoral nerve. So you get femoral nerve, octator nerve, much deeper. Octator nerve is gonna innervate the inner thigh um, and there's actually a perineal branch of the octator nerve as well. Uh, so we have this uh, uh, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, which is actually more rarely the issue. Um, I didn't, what I didn't mark here was gonna be the, uh, there's gonna be some branches of the T12 subcostal and the T11 subcostal in this, in this area here. This, this is actually the uh, uh, L1 nerve root coming off of that uh, iliohypogastric ilioinguinal nerves coming over straight over the lateral ilium. So when we have this lateral ilium, la lateral uh, trochanter pain, that's gonna be more commonly this L1 nerve root problem, uh, ilium iliohypogastric problem, than it's gonna be uh, actually an adductor problem or a superior gluteal nerve problem. So that's kind of uh, basics of this anterior uh, hip nerve pain. So we have femoral, octurator, uh, superior, uh, I mean, inferior circumflex over the hip. And then we have the, uh, the octreter nerve coming into the joint capsule and the hip joint is right here. Directly over that hip joint is coming that lateral femoral cutaneous and it's splitting into three branches that can kind of recover this, this whole thigh. That lateral femoral cutaneous actually covers pretty far laterally as well. So that's the, that anatomical uh, approach to the anterior uh, hip. Find this rectus abdominis neurovascular bundle, and I'm looking at this as the uh, rectus abdominis here on the right. Here's the linea alba, and I'm just going to scan up and scan down until I see that uh, vessel kind of gather in the bottom of the rectus right here. And that's that little curl where that's going between the uh, muscle fascia and uh, becoming retroperitoneal. As I follow that that down, it's gonna enter then the inguinal canal right here. Okay, so that's entering the inguinal canal, it's gonna go back down to the pubic tubercle. So I'm gonna go back over to the abdominal wall, I'm gonna trip, I'm gonna go back lateral and more acephalad. I'm gonna find these three muscles. This is the external oblique, internal oblique, transverse abdominis. With this transverse abdominis, I'm gonna see this ilioinguinal and iliohypogastric nerves here in this little fascial plane. And this kind of becomes that inguinal canal, that uh, the fascia that become, of that transverse abdominis. And then it is, it can follow that inguinal canal down. 
So at this point, I'm going to go back to the pu to the um, uh, pubic symphysis. I'm going to scan down the pubic symphysis. Now I get pubic symphysis here. I'm going to go over to the uh, lateral side. I'm just going to look for right over the pubic symphysis. I'm going to see this little uh, neurovascular you know bundle here. This is a round ligament, and that's where I'm going to see that inguinal canal. So this is the inguinal canal. Now coming at over the pubic. Uh, Inserting on the pubic uh, tubercle here is going to be the pectineus muscle. I can turn on that. But I want to just follow that inguinal canal and back up until I see that. Let me get some more gel here. Going back down to pubic uh, symphysis, sliding over the pubic tubercle, recognizing that inguinal canal. I'm going to follow those vessels back up until I see them go into rectus abdominis. This is that inguinal canal coming over and over all the way up until I get to that trendus abdominis fascia here. So here I'm going to have one hundred a section point for the uh, inguinal iliohypogastric nerve. I'm going to see, and I'm going to have another hundred a section point for the inguinal canal just over that pubic tubercle. And I'm going to have a hundred a section point for that uh, that rectus abdominis neurovascular bundle coming right through this curl. So this is that rectus abdominis neurovascular bundle. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to look at this at this um, ASIS, I'm gonna watch, there's gonna be a neurovascular bundle coming around. This is that, this is gonna be that uh, femoral cutaneous nerve coming up over that ASIS and, and now coming down into this fascial plane here between the, uh, uh, between the tensor fascia lata and the uh, sartorius muscle, so that says that A little more gel in there. I can see that fascia plane here where those nerves are dividing and splitting apart. Each one of these little fascial, each of these fascial loops has a branch of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve here. So if I go scan back up, they all kind of, kind of gather together. I have, still have four fascial loops and then I have, I kind of move a little bit laterally and right around that ASIS into that uh, into that fascial uh, plane of the transverse abdominis. So the transverse abdominis over some of these some of the nerves are going to become ilanguinal iliohypogastric going down, and then one nerve goes over the ASIS and around. So when I had to dissect that nerve, I usually like to start down where I can see these four different bundles and how to dissect it around the corner all the way to that lateral side of the ASIS and down into the transverse abdominis plane here. Going back down distally. So that's that lateral femicutaneous nerve. Now if I'm gonna come in a little bit more for the femoral nerve, I'm looking for the femoral artery, and I got a femoral nerve here. I'm going to notice, say, there's a little, little branch. This is the superior circumflex branch, and I'm going to have a little branch, the femoral branch of the genital femoral nerve will be right around this little circumflex branch right here. And so I have that femoral uh, nerve, and it's, it's part of that is going to become, go and become the. Uh, uh, Kind of anterior inferior sort anterior inferior circumflex, and then I got the anterior superior circumflex here coming around with more of that gentle femoral nerve, anterior superior circumflex vessels. And we can see those here, anterior superior circumflex. Now I'm going to go down over the hip joint. I'm going to see this anterior inferior circumflex 
coming over. Now I'm just going to turn the probe so now you can see that in, and that uh, anterior inferior circumflex. I'm just going to get a little deeper so now we can see where the circumflex neurovascular bundle is relative to the hip joint here. So we have the hip joint, the joint capsule, circumflex. Now part of this capsule is going to be, is mostly the capsule is going to be innervated not by the circumflex, but actually by the um, obturator um, nerve. So if I, if I go from the capsule and I just spin towards the pubic tubercle, then I can find that. So I'm going to go back to pubic tubercle here. Pubic tubercle. And then there's a little fascial loop coming right down to that, to that joint. And that's going to be my uh, obturator nerve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this this hip joint, I'm going to line up with the femoral neck, and I'm just going to move short axis linear slide straight immediately until I come to uh, uh, this little triangular muscle here where I'm going to see the I'm going to see the obturator nerve, but at this point I'm going to have to look at another probe to make that more clear. So this is that uh, Obturator canal is going to be right here. This is the uh, obturator externus. This is our pectineus, obturator longus. Now I'm just going to, here once again, I'm at the hip joint. And I can see this uh, anterior inferior circumflex. And I see that I'm going to slide, short axis linear slide immediately. And I'm going to see this triangular muscle here. It's going to be the obturator internus, and the top of that is going to be the obturator canal coming out under the uh, uh, pubic bone here. There's that obturator canal, that uh, arabaster bundle. It's getting some noise because the, the femoral artery is very close to it, so that's pretty much our obturator canal coming out. Now, just to think from that obturator canal, straight where that comes out. Now right over, I go just a little bit medial to that, so I'll follow that medially. And I'm gonna see this pubic tubercle. If I follow that then laterally, there's a canal. If I keep going laterally, and it's gonna be right over this, uh, this hip joint capsule. So if I go from the hip joint capsule and I turn A probe. And I can follow this ligament, you know, straight to that pubic tubercle. Now that's part of the structure that allows a, you know, inguinal hernia to happen. So really, an inguinal hernia happens when there's a uh, move back to pubic tubercle here. There's pubic symphysis, pubic tubercle, pectineus on this side inserting rectus abdominis on this side and then transverse abdominis here as that transverse abdominis fascia comes down the rectus that's where we're going to see our hernia coming in right over this uh, this um, pubic pubic tubercle here and that's so a defect in the rectus and a defect in the pectineus and a defect in that uh, ligament, that capsular ligament of the hip joint. So hip, pectineus, ad, and, ad, and rectus instability or, or weakness allows that hernia to occur. So we're back to the hip joint. I was going to turn and just look at the hip joint. Now I can see, just in a different perspective, now I see the, uh, the uh, femoral head and acetabulum here. And then, then I'm going to see the, fre the uh, femoral nerve and this bladder. And then there's my pubic tubercle. So I can just go back and forth between those. So now if I go straight below this fem femoral artery, I'm going to be pretty close to where that uh, obturator canal 
uh, comes out. So this is my arterial canal, where the uh, arterial artery is coming out with the arterial nerve. That's going to innervate all the adductor muscles. And go back up to show you this uh, abdominal wall now. Coming in now, I have external oblique, internal oblique, transverse abdominis. Coming down and approaching the ilium, the lateral ilium right here. So it's the lateral ilium. So if I just turn the probe, I can see then here. This is cephalad, this is caudad, so this is transverse abdominis, internal oblique, and lateral ilium. And then that uh, ileal hypogastric nerve is going to come, that L1 is going to come right over the ilium. It's going to come right down to where this, I drew a line on the previous video. Uh, we can see that line coming over. Uh, that uh, L1 uh, nerve distribution coming over that lateral ilium. That's often mistaken for lateral hip pain and trochanteric pain and gluteus medius minimus tears. It's going through these anterior hip nerves and associations here. So here is a uh, neurovascular bundle. You see this is the anterior inferior circumflex and between the, uh, the ilia, uh, iliacus and the rectus femoris and the intermediates here. This is that uh, neurovascular bundle. Uh, we sometimes will have days like this on the way into the hip. So, and then this is the joint capsule, this is the hip joint. Uh, acetabulum here. So this is that uh, anterior inferior uh, circumflex uh, neurovascular bundle coming off of the femoral nerve and femoral artery uh, anterior to the hip. And there's also a superior circumflex as well. We'll get to that. Here we see uh, this combination of the femoral artery and the arterial artery. So you can see, see how this the leg's straight. It's not a great way to treat. It's a good way to identify the uh, femoral artery is directly over the arterial canal. It's coming right out of here into the pubic ramus. That's the arterial canal. This is the uh, uh, arterial externus muscle belly, and that's the canal that's coming right through here. It's going to innervate those adductor muscles as well as the hip joint. I think this nerve is coming straight towards the hip joint capsule. The, the, one of the, one of the uh, recurrent branches coming straight to the hip joint capsule. Here we just see that same the arterial uh, neurovascular bundle coming out of that uh, uh, canal right here, the pubic ramus here, the epictinius over the top. Here we see the, uh, fem the femoral artery, uh, the femoral nerve, the hip joint. And if I just were to, this is the pubic ramus here, if I were to scan just slightly distal, I would see right below that obturator canal be right about here. And then you can see that uh, arterial nerve would go in over and innervate the uh, hip joint capsule. And if I also do scan, scan just slightly down, I would notice that there's a ligament right on top of the arterial externus going right to the hip joint capsule. And I think that's what I got here. You see this ligament, it's going right to the hip joint capsule. It's the arterial externus, muscle fibers coming straight across. Um, so that's the ligament coming straight to the hip joint capsule. And then the, uh, the octurator nerve, this is octurator uh, ex externus muscle belly. And that canal is, is right here, so it's going to come follow that ligament right down to the joint capsule and innervate the joint capsule. This is the uh, uh, pubic uh, the tubercle up here, just right below the pubic tubercle. So the pubic bone. This is the femoral uh, artery, femoral nerve, just for reference points. to the same image. Okay, here I was I'm looking at the inguinal canal, so I'm clearing that other image. Here I can see the uh, uh, transverse abdominis muscle here, and I can see this uh, lateral femur cutaneous is going to come over the ischium from here. And I have the uh, ilium inguinal ilium hypogastric nerve in this fascia loop around that uh, transverse abdominis. This is the uh, internal oblique, external oblique over the top. This is kind of the beginning point of the inguinal canal. Same image, just a little bit slid, sliding down, it's kind of tracing towards, uh, tracing down the inguinal canal. Let's see that. 
believe me, now I'm going back to uh, looking at this uh, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve here. There's kind of four bundles you can see in here. One, two, three, four. A lateral femoral cutaneous nerve uh, here in this, fat, right over the fascial plane between the uh, uh, tissue fascia lata and the uh, sartorius muscle here with the uh, uh, rectus femoris below that. And we see a little further down, we can see different bundles. There's a nerve, fascial loop, nerve, fascial loop, nerve, fascial loop. See different branches of that uh, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve as it's starting to divide a little bit further down the leg, as we can see in the, in the previous uh, superficial uh, the diagram. Um, here we see that uh, fascial loop going back up closer towards the uh, ASIS. And this is going to go just lateral to the ASIS. Here I'm looking at the uh, at the rectus abdominis, and this is that neurovascular bundle coming through this fascial loop here into the uh, peritoneum. I'm just watching a video as you can see that coming up and down. So this is going cephalad and cod out where that little neurovascular bundle is coming, you know, through the, abdomin the rectus abdominis. It's an important nerve uh, for uh, innervation of associated to uh, sexual function, but obviously for the rectus abdominis. We have rectus abdominis tears uh, and glomerular hernias. This is an area where you get some neurovascular dysfunction. Another video of the same. Here you can see kind of that mid curl right there, mid, mid fascial loop right there. Um, just getting you up towards uh, and down from the uh, inguinal canal, so it's going away from the uh, um, ASIS with that uh, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve and then scanning down. Then we're scanning around the ASIS to the uh, transverse abdominis plane. You see that's the, the nerve is kind of creeping over as I scan up and end up right here in that transverse abdominis plane. That's kind of where I like to see the hundred section go. Here I can see just right over the lateral ilium, I have this three muscles, the internal oblique, I mean, in, uh, internal oblique, the transverse abdominis, external oblique. I'm gonna see that, uh, that uh, we have the gastric nerve coming over this, over the ilium right here, as uh, shown in, on the previous uh, uh, diagram uh, on the model's body. You can see that's from the, this is more cephalad, this is cauda, this is the ilium. Just scanning, you can just kind of see as I'm scanning a little, little neurovascular bundle kind of creep right over the ilium right there. And transverse abdominis, internal oblique, external oblique. Here again, so we're back at this lateral femoral cutaneous. I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, this is an inguinal canal right here. So this is a tubercle and we got an inguinal canal. Here we see this uh, 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 pectineus and the uh, obturator externus muscle belly with that uh, uh, joint capsule, capsule ligaments coming off of the pubic tubercle right between the two. And this is heading down to this is the hip joint capsule with the femoral artery over the top and the femoral nerve. And then the um, inguinal canal is gonna be right here. So that, I mean that obturator canal is gonna be right here. So the obturator canal is gonna catch that that the capsule and take it and innervate that capsule here and all the way to the end of the town. And you can just see that same thing, pectineus, um, and then um, adductor, and this is off your internus, and the canal, 